and for making it through the rain to come out and show your, your presence in celebration of the victory in California today. Each one of you actually represent probably hundreds of people that couldn't actually be here today. Um, people who might be afraid to come out. People who might be sick or recu recuperating from surgery. Um, people who might be taking care of a parent or taking care of children. Um, hundreds of people behind each and every one of you. So thank you all for coming out here today. Give it a hand to yourselves. Yeah, Denver! <laughs> awesome. Um, we have some more people to thank today um, and some people who would like to share a few words with you. Uh, the first one at the top of the agenda is Reverend Dr. David Barr, who of the Park Hill Congregational Church would like to share a few words with you. Thank you. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to witness and celebrate the gift of marriage between this man and this man and this woman and this woman. Also in the marriage rite, we say, those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. And I would add, until we get to the day, those whom God has brought together, let no one deny. Today is such an important step. We have so many more steps to take but I represent among the thousands of clergy and Christians and other people of faith who are in this struggle for justice and inclusion. We will hear plenty, the TV networks will make sure that all the conservative voices are heard loudly and clearly, but let us never forget there are thousands and thousands of Christians and Jews and Muslims and Buddhists and people of other faith who for today, this is a day of joy and celebration. I also bring greetings from my friend and colleague, Adam Morris, the rabbi of Temple Micah, who would also be here, uh, but uh, sends his greetings as well on behalf of his congregation. God is smiling upon us today. Thank you, kind sir. Um, another person that we have to um, say a few words, words say a few words for you today is Sharon Masden. She would like to read a statement from Brad Clark of One Colorado. Sharon. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Masden. I'm the field organizer with One Colorado. Um, we are a new um, nonprofit organization in Colorado working to protect and advance opportunity for the LGBT community. Um, I have a statement here from our executive director, Black Brad Clark, who is celebrating with us from DC. Um, One Colorado celebrates today's ruling with gay and lesbian couples and their families all across the nation. These couples simply want the dignity and security of having the same freedom to marry as others, as well as for all Americans who believe in our nation's bedrock principles of fairness. This issue is about basic fairness. It's not about Republicans or Democrats. It's a constitutional issue that goes beyond party lines. Today's groundbreaking decision affirmed that the law cannot treat people differently based on their sexual orientation and that the majority cannot strip the minority of its fundamental freedoms at the ballot box. Thank you. I'm so glad Shannon could come out and share a few words for One Colorado. Woo. 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 Up, One Colorado! Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Next on the agenda, we have Jeremy Shaver, who is the Executive Director of the Interfaith Alliance, and he would like to share a few words on the um, Victoria's decision today. On behalf of the Interfaith Alliance of Colorado's 800 members across the state, from the Eastern Plains to the Western Slope, from Southern Colorado to Northern Colorado, we want to say that we're absolutely elated by today's decision because it really is an affirmation that civil marriage is a civil right for all, all people, all loving couples. And what we appreciate even more about the decision is that it was made very clear that, uh, the judge said that morality alone is not enough to deny this meaning. 
a narrow religious viewpoint or a specific religious viewpoint should not be the basis for law that go governs our land. So we very much affirm that, thank you, that we should begin this discussion from the viewpoint of religious freedom, keeping ci civil marriage and religious marriage separate and making civil marriage available for all loving couples. And that's why we're here today, and we, we will continue to, in that fight here in Colorado to make sure that all loving couples have access to marriage. Thank you very much. I hope people are being very quick today. Um, actually, we get to say thank you to Marriage Equality USA. They're based out of Oakland, California. Um, we have three co-leaders of the Colorado chapter. Besides myself, there is Liam Flanagan behind the um, video camera. And Ryan Kendall would like to speak, of, uh, speak for a few minutes, share with you some words about um, his testimony in the Prop 8 trial. So uh, thank you and please welcome Ryan. I just really want to reiterate real quickly our thanks for coming out in this San Francisco weather, which is a little fitting since we have a, a San Francisco judge giving us our freedom back. Um, I tried to write something about today, but I don't know if I'll be able to understand what it means for a very long time. It's not just Wednesday, August the 4th, 2010. It's not just hump day. Today is a day that rings out in truth and equality for all gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people throughout the world. Because today, for the very first time, a federal judge has said that we cannot be denied the fundamental right to marry. And that means something to everyone everywhere. It means something to people in Colorado. It means something to people in California. And it means something to everyone in the world. And it's incredibly important. Today means that we are the equal of every other citizen in this country and that the horrendous injustice and suffering that goes on within the LGBT community is unwarranted, irrational animus. It is bigotry and prejudice and nothing more. And it's time that we stop ruining lives in this country just because of who people are. It's a struggle that we've started since the founding of this country and it's a struggle that will continue, but we will be victorious one day. Today is not a threat to Christianity or organized religion. Today is not a threat to traditional marriage. But what today is, is the day when all of our communities can have their own families, when they can have their own freedom and their own equality, and that is the most American thing I can think of. Now, going through this experience and being able to testify in Perry v. Schwarzenegger was a very emotional thing, but I learned an incredibly valuable lesson, that in a world that has suffered so much because of injustice and prejudice, because of suicide or drug abuse or homelessness or all the ills that official discrimination cause our society. That everywhere you look, there are heroes among us. There are the attorneys at AFER who have brought this case. There are the expert witnesses. There are the people who have pleaded with caring and passion that the truth prevail. Something else I, I learned as I looked out into the world and saw hero after hero after hero is that it doesn't take much to be one. That all of us can be heroes simply by coming to a rally and showing your support for equality for all people, or speaking to a friend who might not have the same views as you, or making sure that you treat people right in your own life. All of those acts make the world a better place. And if you take nothing from today's decision, you should know that the smallest act can change the world and mean something to millions, if not billions, of people. Thank you very much.